lovebirds, Tanya TKO here and um, whew, you know what, you know when you walk past like a spider web how you can feel it on your face, oh. anyway listen, I'm getting ready to, um, to head out of Martha's Vineyard right now, it's a little after 5 o'clock in the morning and as you can see the sun is about to come up behind me, you probably can't see my own face very well but the colors are sure beautiful, so you can just hear my voice and just look at the beautiful scenery. Um, I'm making this vlog because, wow, hold on, this truck making a lot of noise. Let's go underneath the gazebo real quick. Here's a pretty gazebo. Well, um, I just wanted to give a sort of, I don't know what happened to the camera, just turned off real quick. I wish that truck would go away. It's making like all this hissing sound. I, um, the reason I'm, you know what, I wish I, oh. You know what, I'm going to run back and get a light from my, my camera kit real quick. Okay, I'm back. And I'm thinking I shouldn't have um, gotten the light because I'm not looking too good. Like I dark circles under my eyes but anyway whoo I just had to go through such a feat but I wanted you guys to be able to catch the sunrise you know I can't look at this look <laughs> I'm not looking too good oh I just wanted to talk about my mmm drinking some herbal tea oh gosh I just wanted to talk about my experience overall here in Martha's Vineyard just kind of give a synopsis of how oops the diffuser just fell off my light now everything is being shown <sighs> I'm tired <sighs> okay I just wanted to talk about my um that's the, the ship behind us that we're getting ready to leave out on <sighs> my experience overall in Martha's Vineyard has been, you know what, I actually, you remember the, the first week that I was here, it was kind of touch and go. But um, it actually, no, I can't look like this. Here's my diffuser. Let me see if that helps. It actually turned out to be all right. You know, it wasn't as bad as it could have been. You know, I guess everything is really all about, you know what, I don't have the, the the clasp for it in the back. Oh, oh gosh, here we go. It did, you know what? This, is, this has been one of those vacations where it truly is what you make of it. Because I, um, I decided to just, you know, leave the negativity behind. Let me just turn off this light. I can't look at these dark circles in my eyes. You know, that's one of the things I'm self-conscious about. I look like I've been, I'm on some substance. <laughs> this, this is not a good look, no. Oh, that's much better. Oh, okay. This has been one of those vacations where I basically had to make up my mind to have a vacation that I wanted to have. Otherwise, it could have definitely been ruined. But overall, I met a lot of good people, saw some great films, listened to some good jazz, saw some wonderful art, had some great conversations, and it was nice. It was wonderful. And I, um, and I, uh, you know, there are some people who are like, oh, I love the vineyard. I love it so much. And they come back every year as a result of this love. I don't know if I'd come back. I found it to be really, really expensive. I, I used the word hostily expensive. It was like, it was so aggressively expensive. It was almost hostile, like anti anti um anti-tourism <laughs> but you know listen i don't know that's just me i would you know lots of people ask how do i feel traveling alone etc and i think that you know i think we have a you know a lot of us have a lot of demons a lot of things going on inside of us that we perhaps don't like who we are 
if you can't deal with if you can't deal with yourself at home it's going to be difficult to deal with yourself while traveling so what I would say is really become comfortable with yourself really take the time to get to know yourself be able to deal with yourself without music on I told you this you you guys this before unplug and and get and quiet the the storm inside your own mind once you quiet the storm inside your mind once you're able to I this is just too hot once you're able to quiet that and come to terms with the thoughts that may be nagging you issues and problems from the past once you're able to um to come to grips with that you'll be all right because I never feel like I'm by myself I feel like I'm with myself and if you don't like the person that you're with you're gonna have a tremendous amount of problems especially if that person that you're with is inside of you is you you can't get away from that person so you know another thing that I would say is that you, you have to you have to be a bit outgoing um, well you know you don't have to be outgoing if you want to do activities with other people if you want to meet other people you're gonna have to be outgoing or you know depend on the outgoingness of others and one thing that you can do is just be friendly smile even if you can't approach somebody like I don't have a problem approaching people talking in front of people standing up right here and hollering out whatever it is I need to holler out I, I don't have a problem with that personally because I um this life that we're living is kind of like the, uh, the matrix or dream to me anyway so none of this really really matters at the end of the day so I would say wear a smile if you can't come out of yourself to be like hi how are you where are you from blah 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 if you can't do that the least you can do is wear a smile so that if there is an outgoing person in the bunch they feel like approaching you because there were people who I tried speaking to but they just seemed really upset or grouchy or like I was bothering them then I just move on I don't know if the people are shy and you know they can't you know speak back or whatever or if they don't like me <laughs> say like I don't like your face you know get away from me but they can't say it <laughs> you know so one thing that I can say is wear a smile you know be approachable that's what I can yes be approachable um so one like yourself two be approachable so that if there's somebody who likes the look of you or whatever that they can come up to you and approach you three be open-minded be willing to try new things um, be willing to you know explore something maybe you've never done before something that you tried before and you didn't really like it that much but maybe you know this is a, a new time a new day a new age try something new try something different um, was that three or four I was up to I can't remember next thing I would say is be I guess maybe that might be even it be open-minded be flexible those might be the same thing you know things um, may not always be how we want them to be and you have to be able to bounce back if something doesn't turn out the way it the way you planned on it turning out bounce back and move on to the next bounce 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 there will sometimes be people oh, another thing that I can say is be comfortable with people not liking you you know um, that's one thing that I can say because everybody that I come into contact with doesn't like me and with the point before that about being flexible you have to be able to be like okay I'm alright you know even if this person doesn't like me I'm still okay I, it doesn't mean I'm a bad person it doesn't mean that they're bad it just means that we didn't mesh well and be bounce 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 right back go on to the next situation and try to find you know um, something uh, something a little more uh, vibing um, in another situation what else can I say um, I don't know if I would say money is something because you can find things within your budget I would say you know what I'm trying to look and see because because I'm on standby my my actual boat doesn't leave until 12 but I decided to come out early because the culture of Martha's Vineyard is very laid back people don't get up very early here so I'm hoping that but it looks like the cars are starting to pile up I'll show you in the parking lot real quick can you see that the cars I don't know if you can see it or not but the cars are starting to line up out there it looks like some some trucks are lining up too but anyway so um so I would say 
Uh, what else? M money might be something because money can hold you back from being able, like let's say, you know, you are flexible and you want to try something new, maybe windsurfing or, or hang gliding, parachuting, whitewater rafting. If you don't have the resources to be able to do that, then you might be kind of left behind, which means that um, you'd have to take it upon yourself to be even more outgoing to find people who maybe want to do, you know, something else that's within your budget. What else? What else? What else? I think that those are all that I can think of. I need to sit down and do a, a good comprehensive video of how to travel alone. I, I need to get the notes all together right now. Listen, it's 5 o'clock in the morning. As you see, the sun is coming up. Um, I still have dark circles. Look at my face. I'm not looking. It. Uh-uh. No. Mm -mm. Yeah. Oh, you know, another thing that I would say is be low maintenance like you see my hair is cut short you know um i do things to my skin to make sure that i don't have to wear makeup i guess when when i'm not tired right um be low maintenance with your clothing you know you can't step out in heels and all that other stuff every day that goes that that also goes in the line of being open-minded as well you know um pack light uh, my father taught me when i was young take half as much clothes and twice as much money as you think you're going to need because you know what you don't wear all of the clothes that I haven't worn all of the clothes that I even brought here I, I, I only brought four or five t-shirts um, three dresses two pairs of pants a bunch of socks and underwear and all that other stuff I'd make sure I have lots of underwear what else can I say um, depending on where you're going to travel lines of communication are imperative when I travel outside of the country, I make sure that I have a phone that can operate on that country's bandwidth. Um, it's important, like if you, go, if, you, if you go to another country or even another city, state, it's important that you have strong phone signal, a good phone, because there will be people who will be trying to meet up with you. And if you don't have a phone where people can meet up with you, it's almost impossible to meet up nowadays if you don't have a phone. That whole pay phone, pager, you know, page me and I'll call you back from the pay. That's not happening nowadays. So you have to have a way for people to be able to get in contact with you while you're away. And I think, I don't know, you know what, I think that might be it. I think, um, I think I'm going to sit out and look at, you can't see the colors, but it's really pink and very beautiful over there. I think I'm going to sit out and watch that for a little while. Overall, I had a good vacation here. It wasn't catastrophic like the one in the Dominican Republic last year. So anything that didn't turn out like that is a good vacation. But so I would encourage all of you get out there and travel, you know, try something new. I'm going to um, watch the sunrise for a little bit, watch the pink skies. I might even get out my big camera and start taking some photographs because it's just too lovely to ignore. And then I'd say that's pretty much it. Rewind the video and watch through the points again. Let's hug. I'm getting ready to leave. I have a long trip ahead of me. Hug, 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 hug. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh I'm tired. Sorry. I bumped all into you. All right. Let me go. Let me go. All right. Tanya TKO. Oh. Oh, my goodness. My sweatshirt. I'm stomping on it Ugh, with leaves and everything. Okay, listen. Come over to my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Tanya TKO show. Twitter.com forward slash Tanya TKO on Instagram. I took pictures here. Uh, my Instagram is at, T at Tanya TKO. If you want skin like mine, don't look at the way my face looks in this video. This is a normal video when I'm awake. My site is TKO Skin. You know what? Now I see why. I see what's happening. It's not that the people are getting on this boat. It's these all these big trucks. Look at this. It's like all of these trucks are in line to get on the boat. So listen, cross your fingers for me that I get on this boat. I'm gonna sit back, drink some tea, watch the sunrise, and oh look, look now I'm looking much better. Mm -hmm. Watch the sunrise and have a good day. So I love all of you guys out there. Make sure you love one another, but most importantly, love yourself. Oh, did I tell you it's Tanya with an O? Did I say that? <laughs> I'm still tired, listen. Let me get out of here. I love you guys. Love, love, love. Hey, hug, 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 hug. Okay. All right. Let me, oh. I can't stop the camera because I had the tea in one hand and the camera in the other. Now people are looking at me. This is what I did not want. I did not want this. Okay. Let me. They're staring at me. Okay. I need to put you down. Hold on. I'm going to put you between my legs. Oh, that's. Pretend you never heard that. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> Bye.